Welcome back to the only podcast on YouTube. I'm your host, Wild Spartans, aka Brandon, and I'm here with Diesel. Ah. And I'm also here with Quite. I seldom remember where I am. Okay, and today we're gonna be talking about various topics, and the first topic being Venom sucks dick. Okay, your takes, go. None of us have seen Venom. Venom literally yet. sucks wiener. Like, like he actually. Who's the guy that plays Tom the other Hardy? part of Venom? Tom, Tom Hardy. Hardy. He actually Both sucks his wiener in the movie. I um, uh, I don't know about that. None of us have seen Venom, but I am very excited for it now because I saw a screenshot of Tom Hardy being caressed by a taller female Venom. And I just think it's going to be really fucking funny. Yeah, but uh, none of us have actually seen the movie. We're just making opinions based on the reviews and everyone tweeting about how much it sucks. <laughs> so, I mean, like, we're not the most qualified. Um, it's just that it's not a surprise because they removed, um, you know, like a huge chunk of the movie, like 40 or 50 minutes of rated R content because they yeah. wanted to make the movie PG-13. I remember one of its so, biggest selling uh, points movie, was initially that it's rated R. Like, I don't know why they got rid of that. Like, the movie being rated R probably wasn't going to save it from being a bad movie. I, I It seems like... Uh, I think it probably would have been nah. bad either way, but it might have been more cohesive. Cause, like, it's I think it would have been... Okay, you go. Maybe it wouldn't have been more cohesive, but there would have been, like, probably more entertaining shit. Because Tom Hardy said that was, like, all the rated R stuff that got taken out was his favorite stuff. Like, um, uh, like you, you were mentioning that last cast, Brendan. But it's like, yeah, I don't know. I just can't imagine so. that a movie's like benefits like story wise by removing 50 by removing 33 percent of the plot. Yeah. And then like, I don't know, it has a, on, the, on Rotten Tomato at the moment, Venom has a 30 percent. And like, I think if they had the R content, it'd probably be like a 50, which would be like way better than 30 <laughs> percent. So I think it has like a 32 at Metacritic or something. Were, were there just so. cuts or were there cuts and reshoots? Don't know. Um. Uh, from what I can tell, it was just ripped out. Damn. And they're just like, and like director's cut, future future endeavor director's cut. Yeah, that's cut. what I, that's what I was thinking. Like, oh man, there's just gonna be like three cuts of this movie that get released. Yeah, there's gonna be like a fucking three hour long director's cut of all the shit they fucking pull out of the movie. <laughs> I mean, so. think of the last Spider Man related movie from Sony is the Amazing Spider Man, and I mean. That that's has all your proof right there that you yeah. need to know about Sony's Venom movie. Yeah, like technically they made Spider-Man: Homecoming, but it was like the creative direction of Marvel that kind of saved that movie. It's like, mm. Who yeah, directed I also Venom really again? hope they don't. I don't know. Uh, nobody. <laughs> I hope they're not directing the Spider-Verse movie. Uh, Ruben <laughs> Flay. Ruben Flay. I don't know how to say that. Uh, hopefully, Ruben Flay so Mignon. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> The Spider Verse, the Spider Verse director is uh, different. That's our old, That's okay, the last good. hope I have. Yeah, I mean, like Ruben the Spider Verse, Spider Verse movie looks really good, but like it's also looks, Sony. It, it, I mean, like so. the th the thing is, it's like the visuals look really cool. The same way, like, and I'm afraid it's it's the cool in the same way that I thought Venom looked really cool. Like, I'm afraid it's cool in the same way that I thought the Emoji movie was cool. Well, I didn't I think the Emoji you. movie I that was, movie cool. was great. I <laughs> shut, shut up, up dude. I thought like Venom, like the Venom <laughs> sequences in the trailer that they released. I thought the CGI was really cool, and I liked some of like just what they did with it. But it's like I I just I, um I like the way the Spider Verse looks too. So I'm afraid I'll just like oh it looks neat, but the movie sucks. I mean, I thought I don't Suicide know. Squad looked neat, and it I don't sucked. I don't know about I that. Thought Suicide I Squad was okay. It I, wasn't. I didn't really care that much. It, it, I, no, like, I, I thought it was okay. Like, I watched it, and I'm like, that was a movie, and I moved on like, with my life. That like, I, was I, a movie. I, <laughs> that's I didn't really bad. It. No the reaction thing, like, is worse than a negative reaction, in my the, opinion. I, I didn't is, hate it. Like, I didn't watch it, and, like, I hate this shit. Like, it's kind of like, whatever. The thing the is, I remember, I remember leaving the theater liking it, because I think going in, I really wanted to like it. And then I, wa I started watching some clips in my free time, and, like, I was like, what the fuck did I see in this movie? Like, none of this is, like, convincing at all. Like, some of the acting just felt so wooden. Will Smith yeah. as Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> some, uh, ba just barely. Just barely. Sometimes it was shit, but sometimes it was, like, dead. But, like, I don't know. I thought it was whatever. It was like, a movie. Here's a movie. So. It was dead. Shit. Dead shot. Shut yeah, shut I, um, I went to see a horror movie. It's called The Nun recently. And Isn't that, like, the one The Conjuring that played, I, Yeah, yeah. It's, one of the, it's like a prequel to The Conjuring, actually. Gotcha. It's not a prequel. It hasn't like barely any relation um except for like the couple went to go exercise one of the people in that movie in one of their cases that i don't think was a film but may have been it's really stupid how they lay out this movie stop fucking doing that i don't care just give me spooky stuff um it but before there was a trailer for shazam like shazam 
I was there with my girlfriend and like the Shazam trailer was playing. She's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like she had no idea this movie was coming out, which is really <laughs> like, oh, damn. Nobody has any idea that there's like a Shazam movie. And I think even less people have an idea that there's an Aquaman movie coming out. I think more people know about Aquaman because he was in Justice League. I haven't I about, seen <laughs> shit about Aquaman since that trailer I, dropped. Yeah, I haven't seen anything either. The only reason I know it exists is because everyone's like, Stock Image Shark! Oh my god! <laughs> That's I thought you heard about it since. I just watched it because no. like, I wanted to do, like, for the bit on Loudmouse where he did like all the Comic-Con recap shit, but... Wait, Aquaman, it's out? No, no, the no, no, the trailer. The trailer <laughs> came and went, and we didn't even hear about it. <laughs> I was really confused. You were making it sound like you watched the movie, and I was like, "No, I no, I meant the trailer." Sorry. This. Okay, I was like, I literally heard nothing about this movie. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad. Uh, but like, I just looked at the Rotten Tomato reviews for Venom. And one of the positive reviews is it's an incoherent mess of tones, acting styles, and visual effects. And yet, it's kind of a hoot. So, <laughs> I, a hoot for the it's reason it was a good mess. didn't want it to be. <laughs> even the positive review just says it's a fucking mess. <laughs> oh, no. I'm really excited to see this now because my expectations are that it's going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, no, so that yeah. I want to, I want to see, see this so movie. bad just to laugh at it, like, and also see the Venom action scenes, but other than that, I just want to, like, get a fucking giggle, dude. Dude, I thought the Emoji movie would be funny bad, but it, it wasn't. <laughs> it was just bad. It was just, like, it was like you said, Brandon, it was a, it was a movie, you know? It's like, whenever you make a joke about the internet in a movie, it always comes out dated. It's like if you make a Vine joke in a movie that you're filming now... Or like you filmed like when Vine yeah. was out. Now it's like super dated. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like it's fucking... like the black, the Black Panther one. Like yeah, they, the Black Panther. They recorded <laughs> the thing is they recorded that after Vine was already gone. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know whose idea in the writing. Like obviously Black Panther was written by more than one person. So like, why didn't any of them say, "Wow, that sounds really bad"? I don't know. Like, they should have like if they implemented agreed. it more ironically, that it would have been way better. It's like. <laughs> they played it so straight. They played, yeah. Like if if like someone just said these nuts is a joke randomly, I would have fucking died in the theater. I would have lost my shit if they said these nuts. <laughs> these nuts would be funny though. Like these nuts like, is still funny. Like, it's, it's, but it's, it's, it's funny for it's different reasons funny. than it was originally. Yes, it is. Yeah. These funny. These nuts is still funny. It's, it's funny. Is it's like, funny for reasons that it was for different reasons than it was originally. Oh yeah, yeah, it's funny because it's outdated and just awful. But like that's why it's funny because it's like if you say <laughs> these nuts in 2018, something's wrong with your brain. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Well, so, something is wrong. The thing is, like, even if you think it's funny, ironically, there's something still wrong with your brain. Just a different thing. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're spending your time posting these nuts memes and scrolling on Twitter looking at these nuts memes, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I was in a call yesterday. on Twitter looking at these nuts. I was in a call you, yesterday. You <laughs> I was in a call yesterday with, like, five other people, and someone just, like, posted fart with reverb with Stewie with a troll face as the image, like, in chat, and, like, we, we all just fucking died replaying it, and someone played it through their mic and we laughed again. It was, I fucking, it was the most shameful thing in my life, what but I'm not- What the hell is wrong with people, man? I laughed at fart with reverb, okay? Can you, like, when we're old enough <laughs> that there are people our age working in the film industry, we will get movies where the humor is like that, and I find that very strange. That's fucking, I, yeah. ca I cannot wait. Here, here's the all these All these millennial movies about wanting to be <laughs> this is fucking the, dead. This is the video I was talking about. What is this? <laughs> this is not funny. <laughs> What the fuck is this like? I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at you for finding this funny. This is weird. <laughs> it's, re it's really not that funny. It's like if someone... Okay, it's, like... Okay, calm down. <laughs> like, Google... Everyone at home, go Google fart with extra reverb. And it's on like, you, just it's it, by yeah, it, it's by Dairy Orange. It's seven or eight seconds long, depending, and it's uh fucking gotten a uh, not he, that many views, but it's thing. fucking great. I'm gonna spoil this video for everyone at home. You ever like hear a fart in a cave? Probably not. <laughs> but if you wanted to imagine that, this is what that is. <laughs> this video is for you. <laughs> yeah, if you're one of the one person that's like, damn, I've always wanted to hear what that sounds like. You can finally get that experience. Yeah. Fart with reverb. That's awful. I can't. Yeah, I was looking so at funny. a Did You Know Gaming uh, episode today of Spider Man, and 
the one thing the creative director of Marvel wouldn't let Insomniac do is say at least like let the character say the word balls. What? Why? I don't know. It was never specified. They just said that he like he wouldn't let them say balls. Wait, like just just balls, like literally just like without... like testicles balls. Okay, but like so even with the proper context out of being testicle balls, they still couldn't say balls. I I don't know. They didn't specify, <laughs> but I like what other like why is Spider-Man going to have a ball, like multiple balls? He's like, "Oh, let me shoot some hoops with the uh, I gotta get the balls. I don't know. Like I don't know, but like he made a communist joke, like at the fucking rhino at one point, and I was like, "Great, yeah, that he can't say balls." <laughs> you, you can make political comments. Not it's not really political commentary. It's just Spider Man, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes, the political commentary of Spider Man. I, you that's, should have said Spider Cop. Spider Cop. <laughs> the political commentary of Spider Cop. <laughs> Spider Cock. Spider no. Cock. Ew, throw back to that one scene. Throw back to that one story where uh, Peter Parker gave Mary Jane Watson cancer with his radioactive semen. What? That actually happened. I remember that. Yep. What? How did I not know about this? Well, what the fuck? You're not googling Spider Man shoots a massive load inside Mary Jane and gives her cancer now, are you? I saw it on my Twitter no. timeline did like you half Google a that? decade ago. No, I don't even know where I heard that. I think I heard it from a friend who reads the Spider Man comics. <sighs> Like, I either so, saw it comics, on my Twitter timeline half a decade ago or on Instagram or some shit. In the comic, Spider-Man can give cancer using his semen. In the in the comic, it's also fucking, um, it's, uh, canon that he was, um, molested as a child. What kind of fucking version of Spider-Man is this? It's the yeah, main I'm comic line. Diesel. It was, like, it was part of a series of, uh, books that were supposed to, like, talk about, like, serious issues and promote, like, um, conversation about them and shit. Radioactive semen. Like I'm talking about, I'm talking about the one with like Peter Parker like being violated and shit. That one, it's dark I shit, know, but it'd be like but, that. But you're, ta- you're talking about like, oh yeah, serious problems like radioactive semen. You said well, it, it not gave me. Her cancer. <laughs> That's what my mind went to. It, it's something people should be aware of. Cancer is dangerous. Cancer you know, is especially dangerous, especially when it comes from radioactive if someone's got, semen. Listen, if someone, if you find out someone's got radioactive <laughs> semen, don't fuck them. Yeah, it's like is AIDS. it just like an allegory for AIDS, but like yeah. with cancer? Or... I, I, I don't That's know. I think I think the dude was just like on LSD. When did that comic come out? Was it like the '60s? Because that makes sense. I feel like that's more recent, though. I gotta find out. Like, no, I'm pretty sure there's like he early was day on Spider-Man. LSD. Mm, I don't know about LSD. Spider-Man dropped acid. Remember that comic? <laughs> was that an Spider-Man actual comic? Rain. No, it wasn't. Oh, this might have been recent. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was recent. There's no way an old Spider-Man comic is gonna even. <laughs> mention the words cancer or semen. I think it's like an alternate history one, but it's like on the char- on the fucking sense. wiki page it says Mary Jane Watson Parker, the long dead wife of Peter Parker, though dead, she appears as a recurring hallucination to Peter. It is re- it is revealed that she died of cancer brought on by exposure to Peter's radioactive body bodily fluids during intercourse over the years. Damn. Okay. That's dark. Well, that you know when you think about that, that just like. Man, I wonder what Mary Jane and Peter Parker were doing that she got so exposed to that. And then your mind just wanders to dark places. (laughs) Spider-Man, no! (laughs) Are you talking to yourself? Uh, (laughs) maybe a little both. I'm losing my fucking mind, okay? Okay, speaking of Spider-Man, um, so there's gonna be a new faster Nintendo Switch. Um, there's like very little leak information at the moment, but from what I've looked at, you could actually play Spider-Man on the Switch because it's going to be as good as a normal PS4. So, that's good. I thought um, you were saying Spider-Man was coming to Switch and I was about to get real no, fucking annoying. No, I wish Spider-Man was coming to Switch. That'd be great. <laughs> but, um, uh, this new Switch that's been, like, leaked, and when I say leaked, I mean, like, there's barely any articles about it yet. Um, I couldn't even find one referencing it. I can only find videos. So Wait, um, so how do you know new where's... Swi- how reliable huh? of a source would you say it is, then? I've I've watched three videos all saying basically the same thing that it's it's going to be leaked in like more so teased in January and and it is going to be like hey we have this new thing we're working on um and it's also going to be as fast as the PS4 currently and be able to run like like games that would be running on like a next gen console at like 4K at 10 at 1080p 30 so basically what a PS4 is currently doing and then it's also going to be priced at 4 uh, 399 instead of 299 because it's gonna be better um and that's all i really know about it and then um apparently nintendo has dropped this leak because um 
for what I've from what I've been told through video format, uh, a competitor is working on a device that could make the switch look bad. So basically, this was leaked in a Japanese uh oh, fuck, what was the publication? It was a Japanese news article that this was originally leaked in. Um so I can't remember exactly what it is. But basically new faster switch. Are you going to buy it yes or no? 399. Already on a switch. I bought my Switch so recently and I couldn't justify it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, hold up. Package. And we're back. I got my package. It's Monster. <laughs> of course what it is. What a surprise. Wait. Yeah. You get a cheaper mind. bite in bulk. Oh, that's why. Yeah, okay. but I don't know about the... Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know about the Switch for me personally. I think I might get it depending on what comes out for it. Because it's supposed to be like... Basically, this is going to be Nintendo's third-party machine. With what they put like every game on for a port. Because it's gonna be able to oh. handle everything, unlike the current Switch. Is this like um? So, is this um? You know how like the 3DS had like a th- more powerful 3DS that only certain games could run on that 3DS with? Do you think they'll yeah, do something similar? It's basically gonna be like that. We're like yeah, okay, it's so it's only cer- certain games will only work on the new one. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so it's gonna be like a 3DS Plus or whatever. I don't know. I whatever feel like the if they, they do that, that it's so soon after releasing the initial Switch that it's like, Oof. yeah, yeah, uh, people I, will buy it. Uh, yeah, I they mean, definitely I will, because there's definitely a huge market depending. for a Switch still. I might buy it depending. I mean, like, Nintendo has based Like, they confirmed in the article, basically, that it's like, yeah, first-party games are going to be able to still run on, like, the new one and the old one. Like, Nintendo will make sure that their first-party titles will run on both, but they don't guarantee third-party. I mean, I guess I don't really so, buy Nintendo Switches for the third-party unless it's, like, an older game that I just wanted to play on the go. Yeah. Oh, did you guys know that the, um, fucking... The what what is it even called? The virtual arcade on the Switch is now available. You can download it and play like sixteen six sixteen sixteen bit games or eight bit games. Um, I didn't know about that actually. I'll probably have to look at that. Yeah, was, you can. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know when the online service becomes paid exactly. Diesel, do you know? I have no fucking clue, dude. Yeah, I just know that it's like dirt cheap, like twenty twenty bucks a year or something like that. Um, and then you get like free NES titles and shit like that, and they're gonna add more to the library as time goes on. Um, oh, but yeah, you know I, mean, I bought my like... Switch a while ago. Sorry. I bought my Switch a while ago, and I mainly bought it for first-party titles, so I don't even know if I'll get it. It depends. Yeah. But what you remember you how, uh, you remember how, like, they made the false fucking, like, amiibo shortages to, like, up the value of them artificially? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> saw, I, saw, like $3 a piece. I saw a joke article, and it was, like, uh, Nintendo Online runs out of memberships to sell. Like, they fucking put a limited <laughs> amount of memberships as a joke. But, but yeah, that sounds like an Onion article that sounds fucking hilarious i though. think it was like on the hard times or something that is those are uh joke articles the hard times yeah. is uh basically the onion for video games nice <laughs> like uh fuck what's that twitter account called the polygon parody porygon porygon, uh, por- news. porygon news porygon yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're, funny. they're funny i love that shit i, love that I shit saw an does. article from them today that was like brave game designer designs a female protagonist with average size boobs <laughs> I would believe that, honestly. I want to I want to go to Porygon News and just read some of their most recent article things. I don't Mega know Man meets Fuck more. Man. <laughs> That's a fan fiction underscore text thing. Never mind. Um, Sony, did you guys Sony actually decla- see... Wait, what are you saying? You go. Sony declares that non-PlayStation owners may not be as big of horrible pervert criminals as previously suspected. I mean, yeah, that's pretty accurate, though, to what would happen, because they're like, oh, yeah, if you don't own a PS4, <laughs> you're a fucking loser. You know, get, get a life. What, you want to you wanna play Fortnite with your friends and you have a PS4? Fuck you. You can't do that. PS4 all the way. <laughs> your friend should own PS4. It's loser. And they're like, you know what? Wait, guys, every company jumped on top of us when we realized that it was a bad business decision. PC and Xbox are okay. PS4 is still better. Basically, I what just, uh, I just read an article titled... Um, how violent video games taught me to remove the pool steps and just watch loved ones swim around endlessly until they die. <laughs> <laughs> is this how it works? The fucking Spider-Man is on fucking Switch, dude. What you mean? Okay, yeah, you don't need to send us videos of people putting Spider-Man copies into the Switch dock to play Spider-Man because it doesn't work. Okay? okay? It does I mean, work. I thought it worked. Um, wait, did you guys hear about the um, S- Nintendo Switch VR? No, I just I can't not. wait to strap a switch to my face. Uh, you can do that. I'm not is that, surprised. Is that like a third party um, thing? That looks or what? real. Um, okay. Well, that looks I, clunky I'm as pretty, fuck. I I just skimmed this right now because I remember seeing this on Reddit like briefly. But from what I can tell, 
um, hackers found a way to get into like the kind of VR type stuff on the Switch, and they found a way to make it work like this. And then that's a 3D printed mount. So it's like oh, wait, is it's, it 3D printed? It's not official, but it's like it works kind of like smartphone. Uh, yeah, VR. it's not official, but I mean, like, I think fucking um, playing VR on the Switch would be a headache because that screen is 720p. That would it's, not be good. I mean, most it seen. I think like it's like the PSVR that doesn't hurt me too much, but it's like it's so big, like for like a thing to stick in a VR headset. I think it would just be like not viable. Okay, this isn't exactly VR, but it's like 3D head. I don't know. It's weird. It's like this. It's kind of VR, but it's kind of not VR. It's really weird. But like, I don't know. There's like tons of rumors that the Switch will eventually use VR because of the Joy-Con shit they did. What was it? Wait, I think what that'd you, be interesting. What do you mean the Joy-Con shit they the, did? Uh, like with the like the Joy-Con fucking like Wii tennis type shit, where it's like the well, no, I'm more of speaking like you know how the Joy Cons have like those like the fucking sensors they showed off a bunch, where it was like yeah, yeah. you can feel the ice sensors? cubes and stuff like that. Yeah, that and then like the the rumble. What do they call it? The fucking uh, rumble. HD something. rumble. Yeah, HD rumble. rumble. Like ever since they announced that shit, people were like VR, VR, VR. So it's like I wouldn't be surprised if the next Switch actually had VR support. You know what? Um, I, I'd buy a new Switch if it had that kind of VR support because there's no cables. Yeah. Actually, no, yeah, that, I, that I, would be kind of dope. That would be kind of dope. I could, I honestly, I really could see it because of like, you know, PS, PS4. Would, do, you, do you need a pro for PS4 VR? Nope. It works on mine. Okay. So if, if, so that means that they just need a screen in the Switch that was capable of like VR and they'd be good to go with a VR machine. As far as I'm aware, like, the head. PSVR headset is lower quality than the Switches, so if they could, like, rig it, they might be able to work it on the old Switch as well. No, they could not get VR working on the old Switch. No way. Maybe on the new one. They'd need yeah. a lot more horror. They need, yeah, they'd need, like, a PS4 equivalent. That'd be actually really fucking good. Holy shit. I just thought of that. That would sell really well. Having I, a fucking yeah, Nintendo like, Switch VR. My my opinion has, like, switched around, like, to, like, 180 in, like, the last two minutes. Yeah, if that if the next Switch has, like, built-in vr support holy fucking shit that'd be amazing yeah like oh no, my like, god I, I think about it more like no i still wires. have i still have like fucking reservations about like the clunkiness because it would be like the biggest and heaviest he vr headset probably if like you literally just stuck the switch in the mount but it's like the no wire sounds very appealing yeah that sounds like it'd make it worth it i don't know they'd have to like i don't know that's interesting I, i'm hoping i'm looking forward for leaks to that um any last opinions on new switch before we talk about a scam or a um, quote unquote scam no really no uh no okay so better help you've probably heard about this everywhere at the moment everyone's calling this a scam this better basically better helps a kind of counselor kind of company so like it's kind of advertised for people who feel like they should get help with therapy but either a can't afford it or b don't want to actually go into therapy or just just can't they want to anyway, like, right? test run it or something yeah, basically. And it's uh, like advertised better help builds a lot of things like that. Yeah, so better help is meant to basically kind of just give you a counselor who's supposed to be certified, right? But then people had like a lot of negative reviews of the platform on certain uh, review websites and people just started getting curious. So people started looking through the terms of service and they found terms of service that basically said, "We don't guarantee that your person is certified. That is up for you to figure out." Um which is like sounds really bad but um better help kind of like assured people that it's like hey guys uh we don't actually do that that's just for legal liability just in case and philip the franco talked about in the show because obviously he was sponsored by them and he was like yeah um they told me that that's just for legal liability and philip franco is also like i checked competitors to, to them they have similar terms of service um so he was basically like, I don't think there's a massive problem, but we'll suspend spons like their sponsorship until they figure it out and give us confirmation. And there was a big uproar about it, too. There's also the debate over um, if if getting sponsors like this was accepting like money off of it, basically people were saying like, oh, is accepting a better help sponsor profiting off of mental illness? That what? was also another thing that was brought up. I, I, um, I don't think so Because it's at like all. a therapy type thing. The, mm, um, I don't know. Because I think like, mm, even if it like is targeted, it might be targeted at people like who could use that. So I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. Because it is a commercial service, but it is a commercial service that could be useful for people. Or at least in theory it could be. Okay, well, Diesel, I heard you. The, yeah. 
Yeah, the idea. One. Okay, so if you take a sponsorship, like you know, one, I think it should be like a service that you're like familiar with and you use. You know, like I use a lot of the things that are done with like ad reads with YouTubers. You know, this stuff that I use, um, and that's how I found out about BetterHelp to begin with. I was gonna actually start with them, but then I just like held off on it for a bit, and then this comes out. And I mean, yeah, it, it makes me more skeptical, but I, I don't think, like, you could argue that, like, any product you, you like, service to people could help benefit people, you know? I, it's just a topic that people are less inclined to be like, oh, yeah, you should be able to make money off of that. That's stupid. Like, because you're doing the same thing you do with anything else. I, I really don't think you're profiting off of, like, people's vulnerabilities yeah. of mental illness it's like even like, if you are it's, it's like, like a different ad read like for like uh what is it it's a program uh like honey oh you're profiting off of people's cheapness or money like <laughs> i mean I, I could make that argument for anything if you if it's like if the people aren't certified like i think there's a better argument for that but assuming they are right it's from a lot of the ad reads for uh better help i've seen it's like they don't build themselves as a replacement for real therapy it's more like um a trial kind of thing or like it's supposed no, to help no, no. you they they advertise themselves as an affordable alternative to yeah. going and seeing a therapist uh also huh. to chime in the ceo has said that they um i think it was the ceo it was somebody high, high up in the company um phil defranco talked about it because he was like yeah we asked them this is what they had to say uh basically out of everyone who applies to be a counselor on the website only 15 percent of people are accepted so like they do limit who gets accepted and who is like okay you're talking to um boogie also put out a tweet basically saying um he was like yeah i've been using this service for like two months and i actually really like it this is the counselor i use and she is certified so it seems like there's just like a few problems with it and they're being blown out of proportion especially since i feel like they they probably weren't ready for the influx and in audience because they really popped up out of nowhere um i've heard of them for a while i i think it's like the legalese in the terms of service probably yeah. makes people like worried you know i mean i well first of all i think we should say not not sponsored but for them at all but like it, it it just i understand where people's like sentiments are coming from it's like have you so you know how they do like background checks and stuff now for what is it uber or lyft drivers i think it's lyft right? it's lyft uber has a problem with that and i need to fix yeah because uber uber has the issue of people fucking murdering people using uber um, but like, I feel safer getting in a Lyft because I know that Lyft does those things, you know, and there's a higher premium for Lyft. Usually, at least where I live, some people is cheaper. Really? It's cheaper yeah. in the Bay area. Yeah. It, it's, are they based out of there? I don't know. It could be how many, uh, oh like, yeah, wait, I think Lyft and Uber are probably both based in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. That might be why, but I, I like the, I'll take Uber cause it's cheaper, but I've gotten in Ubers and it's been real fucking dangerous and it's like, I don't want to use this service anymore. So I get that. I really think you should be getting a certified counselor if that's what you're paying the money for. You know, yeah. that's... Yeah, that's it's like, if, that's what it, if, you, if it is billed as like an alternative to therapy, um, then like it should at least have the credentials to support it. I don't think it's that cheap either. I can't remember how expensive it it's is. But $65 it's $65 a week. Okay, If you yeah. don't do their financial, like aid stuff and then they ask for a lot of information okay yeah that's i don't i don't how how much does normal therapy cost a week in comparison uh, it depends well you oh, usually don't get therapy each week uh you know? okay it just depends so how much hmm. depends on your insurance depends on okay. your insurance who you see how often you go there's like a lot of it's not like a, since the it's not like just one service that's the alternative to all of it it's just like it's a bunch of different practices yeah, I mean, I think American healthcare really needs to include mental health more because yes. dude, I can Same. go see an acupuncturist on my insurance, but I, it doesn't cover therapy, and I'm like, what? What are you fucking? Mental stupid? health isn't like recognized yet as like a legitimate it's so, thing. It's really neglected. Like it's yeah, bad. It, <laughs> IMO. It, it le yeah, in America, it's definitely neglected. I don't know how it is in like European countries. I can't. Yeah, here, I can't remember what people. Yeah. Have we still have countries. debates about it, like it's an issue, and it really shouldn't be. I think that's one of the things that's really clear. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. It's pretty clear that we're having a lot of problems. I think the like, suicide rates have increased a lot, <laughs> recent, like in the have last they? fifteen years or something. Ah, uh, no. Nah, it's just how millennials and their avocado toast. You know how it is. 
We may, yeah, I, can't get I don't know if suicide rates themselves have increased. I don't know if suicide rates themselves have increased or jokes about suicide have increased. I feel like it might be both. Maybe a little both. <laughs> no, I... Uh, no, this, um, CDC said that the suicide rates have increased more than 25% since 1999. Ooh, yeah. So, hmm. um... Life is... Which makes sense why programs like Better Help exist, but then, like, they need to make sure that people can trust that their service is providing something. Yeah. Yeah, like, you don't want to go to your dentist and have to check yourself to see if he's qualified, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you go into your dentist assuming he's qualified. Yeah. That's why you have him. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, a doctor. I mean, like, who really drill? needs a, denti- like, who needs a dentist when you... Listen, who needs a dentist when you have Dr. John Bergman? Wow. Who needs a dentist when you have Dr. Wow. Phil? That was a fucking phenomenal segue, and I am going to ruin it. Okay. <laughs> D- Brandon All already right. ruined it. It's not on you anymore. I know. He, he was Dr. like, Phil. Dr. Phil, ooga booga, my name's Brendan. Dr. Phil. <laughs> yeah, no, shut up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, my, my masterwork has been shit on enough. Okay, Dr. so Phil. whatever, you fucking goobers. Uh, let's talk about uh, Extreme Games, the guys who are literally fucking dying totally for realsies. So um, who, was that which sarcasm? Which one didn't know anything? Yes, I didn't know anything. Yeah, yeah, sarcasm. It was sarcasm. <laughs> so this is this is hilarious. Um, okay. So one of the guys, people are pretty sure has kidney problems, but I'm yeah. under the assumption that they did a little research to make sure that they were like on the right track with their fucking like lying. Um. So they like fabricate like they went they googled what those kidney issues would be. Then looked for the symptoms and just kind of faked it. Um, but I could see it being real. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. Um, but the other one and their brothers, right? He's like, I was literally dying. I was going to develop cancer. Oh, yeah. You knew you were going to develop cancer. I think that's one of the things people don't know. <laughs> you know, cancer kind of happens. You don't assume it's going to happen. The thing is uh, with yeah. the thing is with fucking like the first guy, like the guy with the kidney problems, like I'm pretty sure like he did genuinely think he was dying. I think they both genuinely thought they were dying, right? But the guy on the left, like uh the with said he was dying of vertigo and pretty much only said that only like listed that as his reasoning for why he thinks he's dying in the first video, and then he changed his answer in the second one. Fucking I mean, like, I don't know if one, either of them are dying, because I'm looking at this right here, I, and it's like, he sings I, for his dying brother, don't cry. <laughs> like, I, don't know if e- look convincing. I don't know if either of them are truly dying, but I, I'm pretty sure one of them, it, like, the one with the kidney problems, I'm pretty sure he has, like, legit kidney disease. And, like, he's probably in a lot of pain because of it. But I think they both think they're actually dying. Like, and this is just my opinion, please don't see me. Um, and, and, like, they're convinced that, like, they're being healed because of Dr. John Bergman. Who's so a- you think they're stupid. What? And yes. Dr. John Bergman is pulling the wool over their eyes? Uh, I okay, think who is I think Dr. They believe John what they're Bergman? Yes. I missed I've missed this part of the anime. We're going to get to Dr. John Bergman, Brandon. Just you wait and see. <laughs> okay. There's a lot to get right, to. Quite, quite. Here is my theory on what the fuck is going on. So I think Dr. John Bergman wanted to gain some clout. Still so don't know who Dr. John Bergman is. paid Extreme Games to pretend that he is their family practitioner so that way he can get more traffic to his chiropractic business wait, and wait, his other did... businesses for health and like wait, lifestyle. Where did they Hold say up. anything Are... about them, him being their family practitioner? They I... said that they go like he's their doctor. Yeah, Our but he li- they live in Australia. Doctors. There's a video with them in the same office as Dr. John Yeah, Bergman. no, they said they, like, in the original video, they said they left Australia for the first time to see Dr. John Bergman. Yeah, they said he is his doctor. He prescribes the medicine. Wait, what, wait, which medicine? I am like, the, almost the, certain of that. The, fi- the 15 tablets that the dude, that the kidney guy said, like, he was taking, like, two years earlier? Because that's... Um, that not was, that, but, like, what was happening now? I don't think they said he like got prescribed any medicine. I'm pretty sure they're just like saying that like he's fixing shit in their spinal discs or whatever, and that's fixing his kidney disease or something. I don't think this doesn't make any sense. Kidney disease they, being fixed they, with okay, spinal okay, things. Okay, okay, okay. Chiro- so here's the thing. Wait, I have a well, question. Like, yes. Are are chiropractors real doctors? Yes or no? Yes and no. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I said it earlier, and it was a long time before there was response. <laughs> they're not. They're not medical doctors, but they they're, do have can, a PhD. I it mean like the thing okay. is though it come like it come it's 
comes from alternative medicine and it's really only like oh. supported to maybe have positive effects on like certain back strain or some shit. Anything else? No solid proof. They they can't prescribe medications. They're not a medical doctor, but they are a doctor and they are licensed practitioners. So they're like Dr. Phil. No, they're no, licensed they're more, practitioners. They're, they're more qualified than Dr. Phil. <laughs> yes, but I'm pretty sure John Bergman is not qualified at all. Okay. In fact, I think he should have his license to practice revoked. If he even still has it. He definitely has it. He has a business. He has a chiropractic business. Oh. Yeah, l- I, chiropractors I, I, you do can not go- like, You can somebody. Google his name, and his chiropractic business like comes up. And I went to call them, um, and they might have just you know immediately denied my number, because uh, I have like a New York area code. <laughs> yeah. Um, but... <laughs> Because I immediately got a message, and I had checked the schedule, like, their time, and they were definitely open. And I, and I got their uh, message, leave a message after the beep thing. I forget what those are called. Voicemail. There we go. God. <laughs> leave a message after the beep. What are those called again? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What's the, Sorry. What's the God. leave a message after the beep? <laughs> yeah, so it's a real business. You could go to it. Like they list all their information publicly, which is really stupid. Yeah, uh, and now one that thing Extreme you... Games has been f- found out. <laughs> one thing I I hit on in my video is that he seems to be pretty anti-vax. So, uh... oh, no, he's one hundred percent anti-vax. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. he he should his license should be revoked. Okay, and he should well, never be allowed to have kids. He's telling people that they should stop taking the medication that they're taking. Like he said, if you have cancer, to stop taking chemotherapy. Man, this sounds like Jill, uh, Jill from Jilly Juice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, uh, also, really off topic, uh, they posted a giveaway thing on their Twitter and it has nine likes, and I thought it was funny. They've yeah. been doing iPhone <laughs> giveaways in every single video they made about this. You got a really? bit of a unibrow. Yep. Uh, wait, wait, they've been guy. doing iPhone giveaways quite. And you they, think in the video where they said we're quitting YouTube because we're dying, yeah, they the- had an iPhone giveaway. <laughs> in the video where the, in quite. the video where they went to um, see Doctor hey John Bergman, they did an iPhone giveaway. I got kidney failure. You want to you want to win an iPhone? Okay. <laughs> okay, and they also did an iPhone giveaway um, in the last video uh, that they did where they responded to like Leon Lushes and all that shit. I don't know if it's three different iPhone giveaways, or if it's all the same one that they're spreading across this saga, that was never really clear to me. Did these people just blow in from Stupid Town if they're actually saying, oh yeah, I'm praying for you guys that you don't die? Like, I, what the fuck? Are you I, 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 the thing is, I think these people genuinely like believe that they're dying, and they might have diseases that are putting a drain on these, their livelihood, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Brandon's changed my opinion. I don't think either of them have anything wrong with them. <laughs> No, it's no like, I think the it's I think like, the kidney dude genuinely has kidney stuff. Oh man, I'm well, so sick, you know, guys! Oh, I'm man. so sick. You want to win this iPhone 10X or whatever the hell? Yeah, see, <laughs> that's my issue with it. That's my issue with it, man. I don't know. One trillion subs and kidney giveaway. You can win one of my it's dying like, kidneys. The thing is, though, like, did you see in the response video, like he made that, like he actually showed footage of like him being bloated because of a fluid. Bro, I get bloated when I drink milk. <laughs> that's, Diesel, that's not how that works. It like leave, it left indents when he pushed out on his skin. No, dude, I had like, no. Lightly. It's really fucking hard to believe that these fuckers actually have anything wrong with them if they're like, "Hey guys, iPhone giveaway." <laughs> also, let I me, have kidney failure. <laughs> let me find the fucking. Uh, Timestamp professed. That's my yeah no like I've seen I've seen that <laughs> clip I I know exactly what you're talking about but you you can't blame me for being skeptical of that when these guys are like saying Dr John Bergman can cure cancer Dr and John Bergman can channel. cure cancer I he think, also thinks vaccines are pseudoscience I think they're just kind of dumb I don't so think you think like, Dr John Bergman is just like manipulating these idiots. He, he might not be directly doing it, but he sure as hell ain't correcting them if he doesn't believe what he's saying. Okay, how about how about this? How about they're all fucking stupid? <laughs> well, I think Dr. John Bergman is masterminding this. Do you really not think a, he's masterminding this? No, I, think I don't he think he paid so. the money. Yeah, I think he paid the money. With the, how much he charges his patients? Definitely. The thing is, I don't even know if he had to pay the money because, like I said, I think they're kind of dumb, so they might just be playing into it very easily. See, this, is also to pay them at all. this is also another problem. I'm on a YouTube channel, right? And it's like, they clearly have an understanding of what gets views and what people click. So it's like, how stupid can they really be? You know? Like, if these were just random people, I'd be like, yeah, they're probably just really stupid. But like, how stupid can these two people be? You know? Because it's like, 
they're 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 they they know what they're doing to some extent. You know, like they know how to the click bait, is, they know how to get views, they know what they're doing to some extent. So it's like, how stupid are they really? Mm, true, I guess. But still, I don't. That think, is true. I think that I still think the guy has like an actual kidney disease, and I don't know if the other All guy. Right. I'll give you the kidney disease, but there's like, so what? Did he stop taking his kidney medication? <laughs> he made and a yeah, he did. Actual he, kidney he did, disease. and I think that's the issue. He <laughs> did stop taking it. Actual- even if you have an actual kidney disease, you cannot tell me that it's normal to be like, hey guys, kidney failure here. You well, want to be like, when he actually <laughs> dies, that's, when he I'm actually not saying dies, that's normal. John I still Bergman think that's fucking done. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> It's just nothing adds up. <laughs> if we're sitting here questioning, like, who did what? What's the, the happening? Like, there's clearly something fishy going on between all three well, of them. Like, how well, can yeah, someone we so know, extreme... We know that, like, something fishy is going on, but it's like, are all three of them dumb? Or is it just two of them are dumb? Or are they all semi-smart, and this is just a big marketing move? Well, we're talking about John Bergman, aren't we? Yeah, we're talking about John That's Bergman. That's my opinion of it. You know? Like, I by, by that think... logic, I... I I'm just skeptical that this is something that's happening. And if he really did stop taking his medication because he's seeing Dr. John Bergman, you know, um, then I'm sorry when he does die and we have no more gift card giveaways, one um, will be right about John Bergman being a fucking uh, fraud, but will also be wrong in thinking that he didn't have kidney disease. It's a win-lose. But, you know, you take what you can get. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. I mean, like, <laughs> the we way I haven't s- even talked about John Bergman and what he believes. No, we have. We talked the way about I the whole thing. Stuff. The way I see this whole thing is, I think everyone's in on it, and they're all fucking with people because, like, that makes the most sense, you know? Like, <laughs> okay, who the fuck is John Bergman? Let's talk about the anti-vax mom on Facebook. Okay, let's talk about the anti-vax guy, uh, Doctor John Bergman. So he runs a chiropractic business in, um, this is all public information, uh, in Huntington Beach, California. (laughs) Um, He's the owner of it. Out of his chiropractic business, he owns a couple of other businesses um, about diets and taking charge of your own health. He sells a specific diet for like, I think it was like $500. Because he sells jelly juice. That will cure cancer. Did he sell jelly juice? (laughs) He might as well be selling jelly juice if he's selling $500 worth of diet to fix cancer you know um but he will do presentations inside the lobby of his chiropractic office in front of people um like he'll gather people there to listen to him talk about um how the american healthcare system is damaging people and you know we do have an opioid problem and i'll give you that one but to say that like Oh, you shouldn't take chemotherapy because it hurts is not a good alternative. Like, it's not a good thing to say. Like, what's the alternative? Oh, come here and I'll teach you how to eat healthy. The alternative is weed. Weed doesn't get rid of cancer. (laughs) Sure it does. It'll make it hurt less when I die. (laughs) (laughs) Like, he's offering, like, the alternatives he's offering is, like, if you sit in this room and sniff these berries, your cancer will be cured. You know, it's like, I could go to his channel right now and I could find something weird. This really? Easy. Wait, he has a YouTube? Yeah, yeah that's where he does a lot of his marketing. Oh, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, it has a lot. It's got more it's subs like, than any of us? Dude, this is like some fucking Tasha Mama shit. It or, is. How did people even like, how do people like that even fucking, like, exist? I mean, like, how, how do did people... they garner an audience? Yeah, I want to know who the fuck believes sniffing berries cures your cancer. I want to know. I want to know who thinks that's a viable solution. <laughs> well, that that was a gag. I don't know. He probably doesn't actually think sniffing berries will cure cancer. You know, you, you know yeah, you're yeah. right. He, think, he thinks eating apples will cure cancer. But, like, if he's a chiropractor and he's not a doctor, why is he offering, like, advice on diets when he's a fat old man, one, and two, you know, how does he have any basis to talk about no, how our he, immune system works or how a, detoxing is good? Diesel, he needs a, his weight, so when he steps on people's backs, he can, you know, fix them. His, he needs the weight. His about section, his about section I find um, uh, interesting because it lists some of the things he uh, his channel gives advice on. Dr. Bergman focuses on, focuses on natural health alternatives. This channel is filled with easy-to-understand information on diabetes, high blood pressure, Sciati- I don't know how to say that. ALS, Sciatica. 
sciatica, ALS, depression, chiropractic techniques, which is the only one I think he could probably give some valid info on, communication, maybe, carpal tunnel syndrome and arthritis, and much, much more. Yeah, no. Um, no. You know, he he's offering all of these things that, mind you, you have to pay a lot of money to get, and the basis for them working is so tangential that it is not worth you getting on these diets, you know? So he argues that your body can cure cancer using a thing called an interferon. And an interferon is used in protection from viruses, right? You don't need to know how it works. That's just what it does. Um, and he says that your pancreas produces enough of this protein is it pancreas or liver? I think it's pancreas. Yeah, it's pancreas. Uh, that your pancreas produces enough of this protein to remove cancer from 10 people. That's how much it produces. But that it doesn't work because our diets are unhealthy. What does he, and that what does he think a healthy diet case. is? Like, what's his definition his idea, of a healthy diet? So he says that you should eat a specific diet. His diet. And that's where you know that he's just trying to sell you something. Yeah, I mean, he looks right? great. I want his diet. <laughs> okay. So, is that it? He just... What but is his diet? Here's the weird thing, is that all these people are watching him and believing him. That's really I, strange. Yeah, in the first 30 seconds of this cancer video, he just... he like, there's a big thing that says, Cancer is not genetic. And then he completely rules out it being genetic, and he's like, there's a difference between genetics and genetic expression. And he goes into all this shit. Um, so, that's great. <laughs> God, his sight's really bad, too. It's really... That cheap. is also not surprising. I mean, th I mean... Well, that's always the case with It really people. shows, I think yeah, most people like... don't even believe this guy, because, like, the top comment is just, I need that iPhone X. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> And I was looking at Dr. some of his Leon other videos. Sent me like, here. But then, like, the weird thing is, like, the people who do listen to him, I, I, I find really strange. Because they're all the people that, like, would watch Tasha Mama and go, yeah, it's okay to breastfeed your kids till they're 18. Or That's it's like, just yeah, fucking I think weird. the world's flat. Or, yeah, I think vaccines cause autism. And I just want to know, like, how these people exist. Like... <laughs> Yeah, it's like, what kind of environment did you have to have growing up to the point where you just believe this blindly? Like, somebody tells you it's one, like vaccines? One that, one that spread the same kind of information that you're carrying into your adulthood. Like, you probably... I'd imagine it's like you learn it from a young age, or like you were skeptical of it from a young age, and you just kind of grow into that. But I, I Maybe really it's because we like... I don't know anyone in that position, so... Like, we didn't notice all of these fucking nutcases that think you should let your child have polio instead of getting vaccines... Because, like, the internet didn't exist? Yeah, now they're all... Or it's like, are, are there, like, more people that are that stupid because the internet exists? Well, I feel like the big problem is it's, like, you have all these online forums and YouTubers and comment sections and stuff like that where the conversation can be, like, held globally. So it's like you have all these nutcases coming together to talk about this, and then, like, somebody stumbles upon this community and is like, oh... Everyone else believes this thing, and they all give these very valid points, at least what they think are valid points, and they don't double check anything. And they're like, okay, I'm a believer. Vaccines cause autism. You know, like, there's, it's just the fact that it's like, it's like a circle jerk of this false information. And that's why it comes to the point where people are like, I believe this thing, because this person said this thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, that's what I think. I so, can see that, yeah. Um, I, I find Dr. John Bergman, like, particularly dangerous because when he does these talks um one he's like standing in front of an audience behind him is a sign that says expect miracles but he's like uh he opens with it every single one of these videos that are like an hour long because crazy people always have fucking long ass videos because they're crazy okay um, man i take i resemble that <laughs> all the videos <laughs> Yeah, all of them Imagine are like we did, all of them are podcast length. They're all like oh. yeah, an episode of the cast. But he yeah, doesn't he like live stream all his presentations? Yeah, he's like, "Welcome to Truth Tuesday," and the truth shall set you free. It's like, is this a religion you're selling? It's a cult. <laughs> it's a cult. It is. Welcome to Scientology. Oh, I didn't say that. Tom Cruise, don't kill me. I'm covering my ass. It was Diesel. Wash go ass. What? Did Diesel die? Oh. No, I, I'm reading. I'm reading the comments he has oh. on a a video called "The Causes of Violence in Our Society." 
and he, did he say video games fortnite 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 he, no, well he i i i'm not I, I haven't watched the video but i was already like he's gonna say video games and movies and i go down to the comments and um like <laughs> what the fuck i grew up without watching violent movies and video games i had a total of five or less vaccines and ate non-gmo food was given a great sense of right of wrong with the dose of knowing who God was. It's always these fucking people. It's always people <laughs> who say, I believe in God. I live in a trailer inside the middle of Montana in the middle of bumpfuck nowhere. <laughs> well, it's always these people. Like, the flat <laughs> earthers I cover, they live out of his van because his wife kicked them out of their home. Welcome back to <laughs> welcome to Montana, Cletus. Today we're going to be talking about why vaccines give you autism. Is this the plot of Far Cry 5? I, I didn't yeah. finish that game. I didn't either. I played it for like two hours and I'm like, well, that was a game. <laughs> I think this is an ironic comment, but it's like, we live in a toxic society. Our air, water, food, bodies, and brains are poisoned by chemicals, uh, pharma, and government. That doesn't sound ironic. That sounds like... I. It's it, hard to tell. It, see, like, it, if tell. it just if it said we live in a society, I'd believe it's ironic, but they put toxic it, on yeah. there. It, like, <laughs> it's like, we live in a society. This is true. Yes, we live in a society. I, I've... I... Like I, I talked to a person that, like 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 I said before I I talked to a person that uh like she does spiritual healing, right? She studies homeopathy, uh she she teaches Reiki or whatever it's called um and she said, no, see a doctor. What? Why are these people doing this? I can't understand it. It's like if your child like has lumps grown out of the side of their head, take them to a doctor. I don't. I can I can imagine like certain people it's like uh when you're in a position of desperation like in cancer like it's sometimes you're just grasping for like you're hoping that like and like you're like at the edge of your uh on the edge of your life so if this thing doesn't work fuck it maybe some people are mm. like that I can see I that I, mean, I can see that in some the, cases one of the problems could be that like so I feel like most of these cases where we hear about these crazy people and these people doing like ridiculous things that like treatments and things like that that most of them are in america and i feel like that's a big part of like i feel like it's because the health care is not free so people are a lot less likely to go to traditional health care because they don't want to pay i there is government health care and it doesn't like it does cover like a lot it depends on where you are and like so i had to pay two thousand dollars for my braces um that's normal with insurance that's like normal yeah, though yeah but, I have a lot of cousins who are below the poverty line, and my family's barely making ends meet, but we're above it, so we're fine. But I have cousins who got their braces for free. The government covered it. And this is recently, you know? So it, it definitely depends on the state, I've noticed, on the amount of health care you receive. But, like, guys, your mandatory vaccines for your child to go to school? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, they're mandatory for a reason. You know, like, <laughs> there's a you reason they're exemptions. Mandatory. You can get exemptions, but then they, like, those people get set up as, uh, you know, they're liabilities. And there's like, been diseases there, that are spreading in schools, that, and they shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, there like are measles. reasons, like, there are legit reasons to not, like, have them, uh, vaccines. Like, there are certain people, like, who for health reasons can't have them because, like, they would, they could potentially hurt them or some shit. Like, or for age reasons. Yeah. But it's, like, not vaccinating your children... Uh, puts those people at risk as well as your children. Yeah, you're putting the people at risk who can't get vaccinated because of, like, their immune system, and you're putting them at even more risk because you're not vaccinating your kid that can be vaccinated because, like, that's the only thing that's stopping them from getting the disease. Everyone else being vaccinated. So you need to vaccinate every kid who can be so no one gets the fucking disease. Because, like, we shouldn't have measles outbreak in fucking 2018. We shouldn't have a measles outbreak, <laughs> you know? Like, this should not be a problem. But apparently it is because everyone thinks vaccines cause fucking autism. God. What's up, boys? Polio's back in town. <laughs> I always like using polio. It's always the most extreme example of a disease that shouldn't be around anymore. I don't think it's only around in like third world countries where vaccines aren't as. I don't think there's been a like a re surge well, of it in America. They're, they're coming I'm, back every to now America. Now and again, Buster. I'll see an article where it's like kid in some flyover state gets polio. <laughs> oh and I'm just God. like, oh, what a surprise! Oh. But it's it's always the same set of beliefs. It's like. uh the government, Big Pharma, NASA are all conspiring together to make the American people, what, die? 
What do you, who are you gonna roll like? Who are you gonna rule over if you're the New World Order? If everyone's dead and or has autism? Yeah, you want as many people, like you want as many citizens as possible, because like that maximizes everything. You know? The thing is, though, it's like even if like somebody has autism because of vaccines, would you rather they have polio or autism? You fucking idiot. Well, it's I'd like, rather neither. I mean, <laughs> but I it's like want to make. I wouldn't want to choose. But like, okay, <laughs> vaccines like, don't give autism. That they, like, exactly. It's just, but even it's if just they that did, simple. even if they did, how bad do you think autism is? <laughs> I don't fucking know. There are a lot of people who are high functioning. I've worked with programmers it, who have autism. Exactly. Great exactly. <laughs> but it's just like <laughs> this is so it? stupid. <laughs> Which uh, I just I, I'm trying to like rationalize. It's like what if it, what if the world is flat? We should. What is that gonna do? You work at a Seven Eleven. We should make a <laughs> Facebook group. We should make a Facebook group called Against Facebook Moms. <laughs> and, and um, Facebook moms against Facebook moms. <laughs> uh, speaking of Facebook moms and everybody else in America, the presidential alert. How is that, boys? Um, wow, that was that was a good segue, dude. I got that alert on my phone. It started vibrating like crazy, and I'm like, "Well, um, I really hope I don't get these often." <laughs> that that's what I think. <laughs> Imagine I don't want really just like, every Trump tweet, yeah. we get one of those. Yeah, that'd be fucking awful. New when video, I first guys, got retweet. When I first Thank got you, notification, Kanye, very cool. I'm just like, this could easily be abuse. <laughs> it's like, like, new video, guys, and then it has a retweet challenge on it. Yeah, I posted on um fucking private Twitter. I'm just like, oh, I can't wait for Trump to use this as, like, fucking plug his YouTube channel. <laughs> Let, let's be real here. Let's be real here. This is kind of something we needed if there was, like, a national emergency, though. Yeah, I'm surprised there's, we didn't like, have one before. Yeah, they they think they tried to set it up like back in the Obama era, and that's when they started like working on it. Yeah, that's um, when it was like, approved. Up, up until now, it's all been like state level and local shit. Now they yeah, but that, now, that's good. Now we do. If we get nuked, we know. <laughs> you well, know? now like the well, president hey. has access to ninety five percent of Americans. You know, if there's a national emergency, and if there's a national emergency, we got a real big fucking problem on our hands. But. You know, I can't that's wait. Good. F- I can't wait for Hillary to get a hold of this <laughs> Pokemon. Who, who go are to the, the other five percent of people? Yeah, we get, <laughs> Hillary gets it. She gives all of our numbers to ISIS. Imagine, it's imagine like, sorry, if like, I didn't know it, I couldn't use a personal email. What if the presidential <laughs> alert thing is like, go vote for me? That's like what, what I was like, That's He's what like, I was vote, thinking. Bitch, I, vote. I, I was like, what policies are there for this fucking like this thing? I'm like, this could so easily be abused. Like, and there's it, probably it, limits it on what you can use for emergencies. Yeah, you can. Pr- yeah, like I'm yeah. sure, like there's limits on like what Claire like counts as one. Like it a has national to be like, emergency. I need to be reelected. Like, <laughs> re- like risk of like direct uh, threatened direct threats to people's lives or some shit. I'd imagine. Yeah. So that okay. So they 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 already abused it because that that initial alert was a direct threat to my life. It was a test. It was just. I you know, know some people might have felt it was a direct threat to their life. Honestly, they're like, yeah. You know what I this mean, alert should I, say? That Trump is still president. Dude, if I woke up to that fucking alarm, like, that noise, like, fucking, like, scared the shit out of me when I heard oh, it. Oh, thank- No, my phone was muted, but, like, it vibrated like fucking crazy. So, I mean, at least it didn't bypass my mute switch on my iPhone. <laughs> that would've sucked. I don't know. I thought, uh, I thought it was just, like, whatever. I mean, you guys have gotten, like, amber alerts. Oh, yeah. Like, in your local area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's like yeah. that. I can't imagine anybody would use it for anything fucking stupid. Like, imagine Trump's uh, like, my "Release my dog! Can, can you help mayonnaise. find him?" Trump's like, "The dog me. got out the White House. Where is it?" <laughs> I lost Poopity Scoop. Where is he? <laughs> Where is I Kanye? Lost Kanye. I He's not him. in his room. <laughs> yeah. I, I I think the memes were already oversaturated. Like, I heard about it the morning before it happened. Like, was gonna go and happen at like what was it? Like two eighteen EST. Um, yeah. I, I like heard it on the radio and I was like, fuck, this is going to be a meme. <laughs> and then it was, and I was like, that was obvious. Like, no shit, this is going to happen. Yeah. I mean, like if everyone's getting access to this potential meme, of course it's going to become a meme. It actually yeah, has the most like, meme everybody, potential because 95% of the everybody people in the knows US about got it. it. Like everybody yeah. fucking <laughs> knows about this. Like in, but it's very much an America meme. Like Europeans have to find out about it the uh, second hand, but their timeline's probably f- Flip fucking littered with it on Twitter. Yeah, they're like, what is this and why? This meme's not funny. I don't know what a president is. <laughs> we have a queen. <laughs> we have prime people, ministers, like people elegant the, people. People in the UK, it's queen, queen alert system. 
Royal you guys alert. don't even get memes over there. <laughs> yeah, Monarch- the Monarch- monarchial alert system? Is that what it Mon- would be? Monarchial? Mm, that sounds, that just rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? Monarchial. Talk about what the heck moment. Let's get this viral. Okay, Sh- shut so up. I'm going to explain this. It's a dolphin with a cow and they're swimming together. That's it. Okay. Use your imagination. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Funny meme. I stole that from Max no. Muffo. <laughs> Good job. All, All right. right. All right. Do you guys wrap this up here? Yes. Uh, thank you for watching this episode of Loudmouth Boy. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Loudmouth underscore. You can check us out on iTunes and SoundCloud as well. Uh, that's it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>